There are no excuses. I've chosen to spend my time elsewhere. Welcome to vlog number 167. If you've been following along in my business journey, you'll know that I have not vlogged for 20 days. Today is my first day back after my biggest vlogging break so far, but I can kind of sort of explain. Okay. Okay, so here we are. I have post-its to talk about what's been going on for the past 20 days. So we went on a trip and it all started with really good intentions. This trip was part uh, to visit family. Actually, it was all for fun. To visit family and then to have a little getaway with just Eddie and I. And we were like, we're gonna work. We're gonna get stuff done. I'm gonna continue vlogging. Well, actually, I wasn't sure about that. But it started with really good intentions. We got to the airport. We were trying to get some work done in the lounge. And then as soon as we landed in San Diego, everything just kind of went out the window. And I, the only thing I did keep up with was posting on my Instagram profile because I had scheduled that before our trip. That's what I spent like two plus weeks doing in my previous vlogs, which was like half frustrating and half confusing. So we spent, I think like three to four days with our family. And then after that, something amazing happened. JLo and Beyonce happened. Eddie and I got to see Queen B and Jay-Z and JLo in concert in the span of two days. In 48 hours, we got to see both of those queens and it was incredible, it was amazing. You'll have to check my lifestyle Instagram or my blog because I'm definitely gonna be blogging about that one day. The whole thing was a giant surprise. Oh my gosh, it was so incredible. It was so, so incredible. So that happened, okay, and then when we got back, it took me nearly two weeks to get back into the routine of things. So between the awesome time with family and the fun, amazing time that we had, and then family here in Hawaii, uh, the last two weeks, once all of that kind of like settled down, it's been filled with a lot of <laughs> like anxiety and just me giving myself a hard time and just being like, oh my gosh, I should be doing this, I should be doing that, but I didn't have time. And just excusing myself and then I saw Gary V post this and I realized that that's exactly what I did I chose to do something else and now I'm realizing that that was a good decision there are no excuses I've chosen to spend my time elsewhere every single time it just has to go back to finding the gratitude in every single situation. And trust me, right now I'm saying this like super positive, but it's not always easy and I recognize that. But that post, man, Gary, Gary Vaynerchuk, every time, every time he just gets me. So where are we at now? Where are we at today? 10 plus years ago when I decided that I was gonna start my wedding photography business, from that time to months ago when I decided to start this blog, I feel that I've changed, I've evolved, and I've grown so much. 167 days ago from the moment I decided to start this business vlog till today, I feel that I have evolved. I mean, the first couple of, of weeks of vlogging, I go back and I just like cringe because I'm like, oh my gosh, I was being so negative and complaining and just like giving myself such a hard time about things. And I've, I've changed, I've evolved, I've grown, still have a lot of growing to do, and even so, from the last 20 days, from the last month, let's say, till now, I feel that I've gone through another change, another evolution, I've grown, I'm seeing things differently, I'm thinking about things differently, and I'm feeling really, really good about it, even with all of the, the moments of anxiety and questioning and frustration in between. There is a shift that is happening, I am within me, and I can feel it, and I'm proud of it, and I'm excited to keep Keep discovering it, keep exploring that because I know, I know that this shift is so strong and so powerful. Shout out to Jim, to Tim Fortin. What's his name, babe? What's, what's my future mentor's name? Jim Fortin. Jim Fortin. Shout out to Jim Fortin and to James Wedmore and of course Gary Vaynerchuk because they are all helping me see things in, in different ways. So I'm committing 
to, oddly enough, to being committed, responsible, and self-integral. I've learned that if I can, if I stick to those things, if that is what is driving me, then everything is going to fall into place and the things that I need to do are going to happen naturally because when you're committed, responsible, and you're living in self-integrity, like that's, that's, that's golden. That's the perfect, the perfect storm. So that's where I'm at. I am so excited to be filming this. I've probably rambled on for too long, but this is, this is good. This is, I'm gonna mark this vlog one day as, as one of the vlogs that was a shift, that I recorded and documented my shift and I'm proud of it. I'm already proud of it. And I know I will be in the future when I reference this, this vlog. Thank you so much for being here, sharing in this journey with me. I'm excited to start vlogging and get back in the groove of things and explore this new, this new, this new era, this new business person that I am becoming. All right, that's the end of day 168. I did well with my to-do list. I worked on my schedule. I finished writing captions for my Instagram profile. I organized some stuff for my sculpt classes. It's going good. The bulk of what needs to get done this week, this weekend, is happening starting tomorrow, so. Welcome to day 169. Let me show you what I did today. Yep, absolutely nothing related to moving my business forward. That's okay though, lesson learned. I taught a class this morning, then I got my eyebrows microbladed, and then I dealt with computer issues, trying to plan a last minute trip to for next week. So yeah, like I said, lesson learned, just keeping it real. Let's try this again tomorrow. It's day 170, I've been working on writing, working on first drafts, second drafts, all the drafts of my course, and it's just been a couple of hours. I already feel that it's more productive, than the past couple of days. So yay to day 170. Thank you for being here. I'll see you next time.